Kia ora and welcome to Baha'i On Air. My name is Miley Doherty and today I will be talking to Peter Bruce who last night gave a talk on the relationship between economics and spirituality at the Auckland Baha'i Centre. You know, we've got this business world view that um, tells us what the world's like and then on the other hand we've got this spiritual world view and you know what you're meant to do is you're meant to leave one at the door when you, when you go to work. Now that's changing and what I've been trying to do over the last 10 years or more is to try and integrate those two worldviews. Last night you talked a little bit about of the world as a ship and economics as what is happening underneath it. Can you just explain to the Baha'i on air um, viewers a little bit about that? Well the metaphor is that the, the world economy is a ship and it's got a whole lot of barnacles on its hull you know and it's just getting weighed down and it's going slower and slower and slower because of the weight of dysfunction and, and the, actually the weight of the cargo too it has to carry. The whole function, the whole objective of the institutions in the world and the laws is for human happiness. So I've come to the conclusion that if an organisation isn't contributing to human happiness, we're probably better off without it. We got to the point where we, we, we felt that we, had now, we were now grown ups and we didn't need God anymore. So um, then a, a bunch of um, man-made ideologies came along. So what we've been subjected to is basically a godless ideology that hasn't worked. What's happened has been tragic really. Uh, it's led to some, you know, some of the major disasters of the 20th century. So as well as being an educator, Peter, you're also an author, I understand. Yes, yeah. In uh, 2000 I had a book published called Better Business for a Better World. That was an exploration of social responsibility. And I understand that you have another book in the pipeline as well. Yes, I have a book on, uh, called Your Soul. That's an area I'm really interested in. So, um, and I'm sure, you know, because everybody has one, that, that um, there'll be a lot of other people interested in it too. So I understand that last year, you and your wife went on Baha'i pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Yeah, that was a wonderful experience. It's really hard to put into words. Now, sometimes the language of this life doesn't really suit that type of experience. But uh, it's important for, for Baha'is for two reasons. The Baha'i World Centre is there. And it's there because you know, Baha'u'llah, who was originally from Iran, was exiled to the Holy Land as a prisoner because of the religious teachings he brought. You know, you, you'd be aware that the other, many of the other prophets of God had been, have, have, well, they've all been persecuted because their, their, their religious teachings have been a threat to, to, to the orthodoxy. And Baha'u'llah was incarcerated there. We were able to see his prison. We were able to walk in the walk in the places he walked, so that was very, very special. The other aspect of it, it it's actually the, the centre of the Baha'i world. That's where the, um, you know, the world body of the, of the Baha'i faith um, operates from. So it's, it's actually like, in some ways for me, it's like going home, you know. It's a sort of, my, it, I now feel it's my Taranga Waiwai. What kind of Baha'i activities are happening in your community? Yeah, there's lots happening in our community, and, and it's getting, I guess, more and more diverse, you know. I mean, most of what we do in our community is guided by the Baha'i writing. You know, I learned a long time ago that you can learn stuff from other people, but um, the Baha'i writings have a special power and dynamism that you, you just, I just haven't found personally anywhere else. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Bruce. I was born at Dikopru, up on the west coast of Northland. I now live in Whangarei. Kia ora, and I'm Huria. I'm also living in Whangarei, born um, in Pairua. My roles and responsibilities are within the Northland District Health Board as the Māori Education Coordinator. I've been a uh, Baha'i for almost 29 years. I was about 18 when I started investigating at um, university. I was really attracted to the Baha'is because of you know, the concept of unity and diversity and um, the laughter and the love that was there. But mainly about being able to work as a group to bring about um, world unity and peace and prosperity for all of civilization, not just for people within New Zealand. For Nangatanga, you know, Koteitanga, the unity of, of families within Māoridom, it's um, 
you know, the, the whole family concept is really important and working together towards Manaki, which is caring and loving people. So within um, Te Ao Māori, you know, the Baha'i faith of, of working together and loving each other, I think that's you know, a universal principle for me. Thank you for coming on Behind On Air today and sharing your thoughts on this subject, Peter. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for joining us. Make sure to join us next time on Bahai On Air. Ka kite.